on September 16, 1960, at the Bolshoi Theater in Moscow, an audience of 2,000 rose from their seats and gave a standing ovation to the superlative American bass baritone George London, the first non-Russian ever to perform the title role in Russia's best-loved national opera, Boris Godunov, at the Bolshoi Theater. To George London, this was the climax of a lifelong dream, a tremendous personal triumph, and the greatest of the many great moments in his career. Tonight, he recreates for the Bell Telephone Hour a scene from this spectacular performance. This scene takes place in the great reception hall of the Kremlin. In the final act of the opera, the Tsar, Boris, becomes obsessed with a feeling of guilt, realizing that his secret, the murder of the rightful heir, and his usurping of the throne is known to all. He is seized with a frightening premonition of death. I cannot breathe. Cannot. Leave us alone. Go. All of you. Farewell, my son. I am dying. From now on, you shall be the Tsar. You must not ask. Don't ask how I ascended to the throne. My son, you need not know. Tsar, you shall be and rightful ruler. As my successor, my son, my first begotten. Dear son, my own beloved. Fyodor. Do not trust the boyars and their words. They are liars. Never forget that some are traitors in league with Lithuania. And traitors must always be punished, destroy them without mercy. Yet to be just in your judgment, listen to your people. Always fight for the faith, defend the true belief. Honor all the saints and ask them to bless. Son, protect her and be kind to her, for now you are her brother and her father. Love and treasure her. I pray upon a sinful father's tears, not for myself, I pray, not for myself, O oh father. father. 